Okay, in today's video, I am going to go over the periodic table and the isotope, part one. In this video, we're going to talk about what isotopes are and how we can use the periodic table to write the isotope symbols. In part two, we will talk about how to solve some simple problems concerning isotopes. Okay, there is some very important vocabulary we need to know. You should write this down. These are the three vocabulary words. One is the atomic number. We talked about this earlier. The atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. The number, some whole number. You cannot have a fraction of a proton. The number of protons in the nucleus. The mass number is the number of protons and the number of neutrons. So once again, it's some whole number. Okay, it's the number of protons and the number of neutrons. All together, you add up the number of protons, you add up the number of neutrons, you get the mass number. Now please remember, the mass number is not the mass of an atom, the mass of an element, or some other mass. It's called the mass number because it's the number of protons and neutrons, and it's the protons and neutrons that really contribute to the mass of an atom. All right, what is an isotope? Now an isotope has a very specific definition. You need to memorize it. It's atoms of the same element that have different numbers of neutrons in their nuclei. So for example, we're going to talk about magnesium atoms in this video. All magnesium atoms have 12 protons in their nuclei, but all ma not all magnesium atoms have the same number of neutrons. So there are different isotopes of the element magnesium. In fact, there are three. We're going to go over all three. Once again, they all have the same number of protons. That's why they're all the same element. They're all magnesium, but they don't have the same number of neutrons. Okay, so here's our periodic table. Here's magnesium, which we're going to talk about. just want to show you this. this is the periodic table we've been using, and I'm going to just go to a corner up here, and we want to make sure this upper left-hand corner Everybody knows what all this stuff means on the periodic table. This is kind of the basic periodic table you'll see. And the first thing, of course, is the symbol. Every element has a symbol, hydrogen H, Be beryllium, lithium Li. Most of the time, the name and the symbol correspond to each other pretty closely, but you'll notice some of them, like sodium, which we call sodium in English, and we spell S-O-D-I-U-M, has the symbol N-A, because in German it's called natrium, and it's probably discovered by somebody German or in Germany, most likely. And then potassium is not P or something like that. It's K, and K stands for kalium because that is the German word for potassium. So every element has a symbol. And then we have an atomic number. This whole number up here, usually at the top, sometimes in the corner, sometimes in the bottom corner, is the atomic number. The atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. It's some whole number. Every magnesium has 12 protons. Any atom that has 12 protons we call magnesium. Every sodium has 12 protons in its nucleus. Any atom that has 12, excuse me, 12, 11. Any atom that has 11 protons in its nucleus is sodium. Same thing. All atoms of potassium have 19 protons in their nuclei. That is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. Then there's the average atomic mass, which we haven't talked about yet, and we're not going to talk about now, but it's that decimal number there, and we'll do that in a future video. It is related to isotopes, but we're not going to show how to calculate the average atomic mass just yet. The thing that's missing from this periodic table, maybe, is the name of the element, magnesium. Sometimes you see magnesium written down here, but we're not going, this one just doesn't have that on there, but you should know the elements and their names based on the symbols, okay? Now we're going to talk about the three elements, excuse me, the three isotopes of the element um, magnesium. Now you can look up the isotopes, the naturally occurring isotopes for the elements in a table. It's not something you memorize. It's not something you can get directly off the periodic table, but I looked it up and I know that magnesium has three naturally occurring isotopes. And every atom, of course, has a nucleus, and we're going to talk about now what is the same and what's different about these atoms of the three isotopes of magnesium. Of course, all atoms have nuclei. Magnesium, if you look on your periodic table, is element 12. 
Therefore, that is the atomic number, and that means every atom of magnesium has 12 protons in its nucleus. Every atom, and when we say atom, when I say atom now, I mean not a neutral atom. So it has 12 protons. In order to be neutral, it also has to have 12 electrons. And you may know that magnesium has electrons in three energy levels, and it has 12 electrons. We have 12 protons and 12 electrons. That's neutral. So every neutral atom of the element magnesium has 12 protons and 12 neutrons. That's the thing that's the same about all atoms of magnesium, all neutral atoms of magnesium. What's different? What are the isotopes? Well, the isotopes are the different numbers of neutrons. One isotope of magnesium has 12 neutrons. One isotope of magnesium has 13, and the third one has 14 neutrons. So these are atoms of the same element that have different numbers of neutrons in their nuclei. Most atoms, most elements, have more than one isotope. Magnesium has three. Some have two, some have four or five. Okay, magnesium happens to have three isotopes. Now, that is what is the same, the number of protons and the number of electrons, and that is what is different about the atoms of the isotopes of magnesium, the thing that's different is the number of neutrons. Now I'm gonna show you how we designate these by their, what we call, isotope symbol. It's kind of an extension of the element symbol. These are all magnesium, so to write the isotope symbol, we just write down, the first step is to write down the element symbol. Okay, they're all magnesium, so we put down Mg. Now, oftentimes you'll see the atomic number, and the atomic number will be written here in the lower left-hand corner. That is where we put the atomic number, in the lower left-hand corner. Now the next thing we're going to write is the mass number. So we know what the difference want, what the difference between these are. And you'll remember the mass number, and I forgot to erase the C or delete the C, but the mass number is the number of neutrons in the nucleus. No, excuse me, the number of protons and neutrons. So we're going to add them up. So let's do the first one. Well, let's see, 12 plus 12 is 24, and this is where we write the mass number in the upper left-hand corner. So this is magnesium 24. And the next one, we have 12 protons and 13 neutrons. We add those together, and we get magnesium 25. The third isotope symbol, we have 12 protons and 14 neutrons. We add those together, we get 26, and that is magnesium 26. All right, that is how we write the isotope symbol. We have the element symbol, the atomic number, and the mass number. Now, many times you will see the isotope symbol without the atomic number because we really don't need it. If it's magnesium, we know it has 12 protons because all magnesiums have 12 protons. So we don't really have to write down the 12 for the atomic number. 12 means magnesium, magnesium means 12, but sometimes you see it and sometimes you don't. Now, the other way we can designate the isotopes of magnesium is by writing out the whole name. And to do that, we write out the name and then we put 24 or the mass number after the name. Magnesium 24, magnesium 25, magnesium 26. Okay? Well, that's really all there is to it. You gotta kinda keep the numbers straight, the mass numbers, the atomic numbers. Those are the isotopes of magnesium. That's what isotopes are. Elements, excuse me, atoms that have the same number of protons, but different numbers of neutrons. And that is how we write the isotope symbol. There's this kind of isotope symbol that uses the abbreviation, and there's this kind of isotope symbol or isotope designation, which uses the full name of the element. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. If you found that helpful, you can give me a thumbs up or leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. And please watch part two, where we'll do some simple problems and answer some simple questions about isotopes. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next video.